Greetings, my name is Marcus Gardner with www.adreamforabetterworld.com. This is the sixth video in the series called Working with Basic Fractions. In case you missed the first five videos, you can get them free at www.adreamforabetterworld.com. You may also get my free workbook from there as well. If you do not have the workbook, please stop this video and get it free from www.adreamforabetterworld.com. This video does have prerequisites. You must know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers. You will need to know the vocabulary in the workbook. Plus, you should have finished the problems from the workbook covering the first four videos. Also, this video needs you to have a strong understanding of taking the prime factorization of a number. Remember, it is never a good idea to learn new material until you are sure you are comfortable with the material you just learned. So please finish those problems before continuing. If you have finished the prerequisites, then you are ready for this video. The workbook will help you a lot after you watch this video. So let's begin. This video will only cover the division of two fractions, like 5 eighths divided by 15 halves. So how do you divide two fractions? Take this problem for example, 5 eighths divided by 15 halves. How do we divide them? Simple. All you do is flip the second fraction, which is called taking the reciprocal, then multiply the two fractions. So, how do you divide 5 eighths by 15 halves? The first step is to take the reciprocal of 15 halves, so that is 2 fifteenths. Then we just multiply the two fractions, so it is easy, since we learned how to multiply two fractions in the last video. We see that 5 goes into 15 3 times and 2 goes into 8 4 times. So our final answer is 1 twelfths. Sometimes one of my students will forget to take the reciprocal. To make sure the answer is right, I always tell my students to double check their answer. One quick easy way to do that is see what you are dividing. If the second fraction is bigger than 1, we should get a smaller fraction than the first one. If it is smaller than 1, then the answer will be larger than the first fraction. So, can we cancel across since we are doing division? Take this problem for example. Can we see that 5 goes into 15 3 times and reduce it that way, as well as the 2 goes into 8 4 times? The short answer is yes, you can do that, but don't. I mean, why? It saves you absolutely no work at all and can only cause you confusion. If you start canceling across, you might forget to take the reciprocal before multiplying. Let me show you why I said it saves you no work at all. Let us count the steps. Okay, first we cancel the 5 from 15 and the 2 from 8, first step. Then we flip the second fraction, second step. Then we multiplied, third step. Now let's do it the right way. First we flip the second fraction, first step. Then we cancel the 5 from 15 and the 2 from 8, second step. Finally, we multiply, third step. So as you can see, it saved us no amount of work canceling across. Yes, I did say do it the right way. Normally, I am all for students learning how to do problems various ways, but this way has nothing but trouble written all over it. So turn it into a multiplication problem, then start canceling out. You will save yourself possible mistakes. Okay, let's try a mixed fraction problem. Here, the simplest thing to do is turn each of those mixed fractions into improper fractions. Next, we just flip the second fraction, and then we see that the two 17s cancel each other out, plus a 2 goes into both the 6 and the 8, so we are left with just 4 thirds, which is 1 and 1 third. 
that is really all there is to it. You see, once you knew how to multiply fractions, then dividing them really isn't much harder. So please tackle that worksheet I have given you and try the problems a few different ways. Once you have solved all my problems, go back and create your own. For this, just randomly pick two numbers for denominators and any two numbers for the numerators and divide them. Don't forget to try some mixed fractions also. The more you work on it, the better you will become and also the faster you will become. Soon you will be able to get the prime factorization quickly and then you will be able to handle big fractions lightning fast. Okay, I think you know enough to tackle the second section of problems on the workbook. But remember, no cheating. You will learn nothing if you look at the answers before you try the problems. Only look at the answers after you are done. Note, all answers in the back of the workbook are written out step by step. Once you have finished those problems, then you are ready to try the seventh video and it's the final video in the series called Putting It All Together where you learn how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions all at one time like this problem. One half plus one fourth times three eighths minus one eighth divided by three fourths. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please tell others about it. If you have any comments, you may send them to me at comments at a dream for a better world dot com. While it is free, I do hope you will consider making a donation to us so we can continue to keep making more of these videos. Please make your donation by using PayPal and using our email address donation at a dream for a better world dot com. To use PayPal, just visit www.paypal.com. It is a free and safe service to send money. Thank you very much for watching.